I was struggling physically, and that was frustrating for me because, you know, it's something that I haven't struggled with for quite a long time. And, uh, you know, when you're kind of in control of a match and then you start to physically get a little bit tired, it becomes frustrating because, you know, rather than concentrating on just playing the match, which I was in the first set, uh, you start thinking about the, um, the physical side, which you shouldn't really be having to, so that's why I was getting frustrated and I'm glad I managed to finish it off in two sets. It was just fatigue or was it something more specific? Uh, I don't know exactly what it was. I felt, that, you know, like right now I don't, I don't feel tired, I don't feel that drained. Um, you know, my legs just need to get stronger. I have not played many matches at all since Wimbledon. Um, and I think it's just getting back to playing match in these conditions and at that intensity because the first set there was a lot of Long rallies, long points, and um, yeah, it was, it was pretty. In, I thought it was pretty intense, uh, intense match, especially the the first set and, and towards the end. Three years ago, you guys <coughs> met here in the final. Um, does that match give you any tips on how to how to beat him? I didn't know it was a long time ago, but you played well. And you beat him here in the final. As you go into your match tomorrow, same game plan, different. Uh, well, I think both of us, our games have probably improved a bit since then. Um, played Novak in you know a few finals and big matches over the last uh, few years, and um, won some of them, lost some of them. Uh, I need to need to play well together. Uh, sorry, tomorrow, but it's it's, um, it's a good good test for me. I see exactly where my game's at before the the U.S. Open because he's. You know, the number one in the world just now, and um, <coughs> a good test for him. Andy, in regards to the tabloid hacking scandal that unfolding in the UK, have you ever had a cause to wonder whether your cell phone or email had been hacked? And just as someone who's a very public figure back home, what's been your um, take on that as it's unfolded? Um, no, I haven't really thought whether. Mine would have been hacked or not. I don't really, I don't probably don't do anything interesting enough to know <laughs> my phone getting hacked. So um, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, it was obviously disappointing. You don't really want those sort of things going on. Um, but it happened and it's getting dealt with just now. So I hope it, hope it never happens again. Andy, uh Djokovic lost the first set in his quarterfinal and was down a break in his semifinal the day before Burridge started feeling the injury more. Do you, even though he's only lost one match this year, do you feel like this is a good time where he's sort of ripe to be upset this week? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think he's going to be pretty fresh tomorrow. He was only on the court about half an hour today, 35 minutes. So he'll be fine for tomorrow, and um, I'm sure he'll be up, up for the match. It's, um, well, yeah, I, could, I think a good match for for both of us uh, at this stage. And um, I mean, I feel like I can I can beat him. I've done it before and had quite a lot of chances. I probably should have won against him in Rome earlier this year on on the clay, but I'll have to play well.